Hi, thanks for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about how to manifest something. Okay, what is it that you want? Is it a new car, a new job, a new house, a new girlfriend, boyfriend, better success in your business? Do you want to manifest happiness, success and prosperity? Do you want to um, manifest how to have a better relationship with your parents or your children or your neighbors? Okay, this all is actually proven through the scientific research done on the brain that this can happen. Okay, now before I show you how to do this today, I've just got to take a little step back in time about five years ago when I wrote a book called Heal to Success. That book is written very strategically because for the first half of that book, I talk about all our negative traits, grudges, issues, traumas, why we gossip, why we jealous, why we're insecure. Because when I get to about halfway through that book and I start talking about the law of attraction, there is a very, very important thing that I show and it is a bottle. Of water. Now I drink, this is blackcurrant cordial <coughs> and it's good that I've got it today. So here's a question to ask yourself right now. How full is this bottle? Some of you might say oh it's about a quarter full. Some of you might say oh it's three quarters empty. What if I told you that this bottle is full? It is full. We take the lid off and inside this bottle we've got liquid as well as air. Huh. So in order to get more liquid into our lives that would represent all these great things that we want, money, house, cars, jet skis, better relationships with our friends and family, we've got to release the air first. So in my book, Heal to Success, I talk about all the stuff that we've got to get rid of in order to bring all that good stuff into our lives. So I hope that little analogy there helps you understand this. When we talk about the law of attraction, we only can bring in what we've already let go of. Because we're already 100% full. Our energy field is already 100% full. So if you're a negative, head-spaced person where you're holding on to grudges, you're very jealous, you like attacking people and abusing them and putting them down, you're only going to be starting to attract that into your life. So your friends will have those same attributes. The people around you will treat you the same because we do attract that into our lives, okay? But when we sit there and we say, you know what, I want to start having more love, more respect, more trust. We only attract what we're already putting out. Okay, now today I'm going to tell you a very easy way of doing this. So we've got to let go of all that past stuff that we don't want anymore and start bringing in all that greatness of what we want in our future. That's what today's video is about, how to manifest what we want, okay? So let's start with something very easy. I talk about the I am's all the time. Now, this is a true story, and I did this at the beginning of 2020. So right now as I'm recording, this is about a year and a half ago before that um, flu, I'll just call it a flu, started all over the world. Okay, And what I decided to do was in January 2020, I decided I wanted to go up to the doctors and stand on his scales and weigh myself. So I went up to the doctor and I said, right, I'm going to do a, an experiment. Do you mind if I use you as my case study to verify if this works or not? And he said, uh, what are you going to do? And I said, all I want to do is weigh myself and I want you to record it on my medical file. 
So I jumped onto the scale and I was actually dismayed because I found out that I was 86 kilograms, which is about 190 pounds. I went back to his office eight weeks and four days later because I remember the date because it was the 5th of January I went and I was 86 kilos and on my birthday which is the 5th of March I went back to make sure of the results so it was eight weeks and four days from the 5th of January to the 5th of March 2020 and I said to him do you remember a couple of weeks ago eight weeks ago I said that I was going to weigh myself and he said yes and he pulled up my file and he said you weighed 86 kilos and I said to him first of all I said have you tampered with your weight since then and he said no and I said is there any other reasons why those scales today won't represent the, an accurate account of what I weigh and he said there's nothing that would sabotage it hop on the scale and see what you are I jumped on the scales and I was now on the 5th of March 2020 which was my birthday 72 kilos which is about 159 pounds so let's just round that to 160 so in four eight weeks and four days I lost 14 kilos which is about 31 pounds in eight weeks how did I do that that was actually the question the doctor asked me. How did you do that? I sat in his chair in his doctor's surgery and I said, every day I am telling myself what I want to be. But I say it that I have it now in the present. So every day for that past eight weeks and four days, about a thousand times a day, I said to myself, I am skinny. I am thin, I am svelte, I am skinny, I am thin, I am. And at some point during that process, I actually started saying the words, you know, you know, I am. Because I'm telling myself, you know, you know, Linda, you're, you're skinny now, you know, Linda, Every time you say you're skinny, your body is making this happen through our synaptic networks of our brain, which is neuroplasticity, which is neuroscience. Yeah, I'm creating this habit in my brain that I am skinny, I am healthy and I am thin. So the doctor looked at me and he said, oh, you must have changed your diet. You've been exercising. And I said, darling, for the last eight weeks and four days, I have done nothing different than what I was doing before I said the only thing that I do now is I have all these pieces of paper all over my house with the words I am I am thin so on the back of my toilet door I have a piece of paper that says I am so as you sit there on the toilet like we all do come on let's be honest we all sit on the toilet you look at this piece of paper I am dot 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 and you fill in the blanks. I am thin. I am special. I am loved. I am unique. I am strong. I am healthy. I am rich and famous. Can also go into that mix. So guys, that was living proof that this stuff actually works because I did a self-experimentation on myself. I did not change my diet. I eat chocolate every day. I love my chocolate. Right now I've got three boxes of Ferrero Rocher's in my kitchen fridge. I eat chocolate every day. I love cheesecake. But as I get that slice of cheesecake, now let's just pretend that my mouse is a slice of cheesecake. I say to the cheesecake, you know what, you're going to make me skinny. And I gorge on it. Because it's going to make me skinny because how many times do we look at a slice of cheesecake and say oh my god 3,000 calories there I'm going to get fat you're already telling your brain you're going to put on weight even before you've eaten the product so stop doing that with everything in your life because if we're going to 
get in our car and you listen to the traffic reports and you hear, oh my God, all the major roads are all blocked up with car accidents and there's road works and blah, blah, blah. You've already put it in your brain that you're going to be late before you even get in the car and drive out of the driveway. See how we create this before it even happens. That's the message today, guys. So, go back to my bottle. We want to get rid of this. And we want more of this stuff. The only way to do it is stop thinking about all this stuff. If you do gossip about someone, if you like putting people down, um, if you swear a lot and you want to give that, that up, any routines or habits that you've identified in yourself that you want to let go of, stop thinking about it and start thinking about what it is that you do want. Okay? Start thinking about what you do want and not what you were yesterday. This is how we manifest stuff to come true in our lives. So I've got a quote here that I've written down. It says, once we manifest something that we can physically see, it is so much easier to believe that we can manifest something we can't. Rewind that and hear it again. I'm going to say it again. Once we manifest something we can physically see, it is so much easier to believe that we can manifest something that we can't. What does that mean? I did that experiment, which is why I'm telling you now about it. I lost, what was it? 14 kilos, 31 pounds in eight weeks. How do you think it was when I was going into the shops to buy new clothes? Because I'd lost two dress sizes in eight weeks. I could physically see that difference in myself when I looked in the mirror. I got that proud moment. I had that, oh my God, Linda, you are so special. You are so special. It's like the I am's. You are so good. You are so thin. You are so skinny. Okay? Because when we see something that we manifest that we can physically see, it is so easy then to believe or, let's just go there, make the neuroplasticity and the synaptic work um, networks within our brain it makes that new routine happening where we start to manifest things that we can't see we start to manifest things in our future that are now beyond our grasps and we bring them into our present okay wow so what is it that you're looking for a new job a new boyfriend or girlfriend a new house or car do you want a new puppy Think about it in your head and create it now in the present. Don't think about all the negative stuff that you don't ha want to have because they're about to get ridden when you bring in this new energy. Okay, let's just talk about a new puppy. You're bringing in a new puppy. I want to go to over to the um, housing section of where they keep the strays, whatever you call that in your area. Here it's the RSPCA. So if I'm going over to the RSPCA or the dog pound to get an animal, I'm already putting it in my head, the sort of animal that I want. So I'm creating that animal that if it's there, I'm going to find it and I'll bring that home and I'll love it and adore it because it's now my puppy. Okay? When I go to a shopping centre, as I'm driving in, we've got um, two, it's a multi storied car park. And I always, as I drive in, I think to myself, you know what? I don't really want to walk far today. I want, or I have, or I am, I have a very close car park near the door. I want it. It's mine. It's right there now. And just as I pull into the car park, someone like three car parks away from the front door will mysteriously be pulling out so I can drive straight in. This is how the law of attraction works. But I'll give you a little warning, guys. If we're stuck in this part of our bottle, thinking about all our past mistakes, issues, grudges, regrets, this stuff won't work. Because when we manifest stuff, it's only generally good. So which side of the bottle are you thinking about today? Because if you're thinking about all your depression from the past, which is based on the past, by the way, if you're thinking about all the regrets and all the issues and 
grudges from the past, how your life is always down the toilet, and you're living in that part of the bottle, you will never get this and increase that level of water in the bottle until it's overflowing out of the top. So guys, today, how to manifest what you want. I can't make this stuff happen for you. I am just the catalyst to give you that nudge towards the right way to be. If you want to, go there. It's your choice and it's your free will what we manifest. If you want to live in a world where you're calm and peaceful, the more we want that calm and peace, if we think about all the hatred that's going on, all the fear that's going on, you will never manifest what you want. And it's that easy. So if you do want a copy of my book, Heal to Success, it's 186 pages and it was three years of writing how we sabotage ourselves, how we don't even know the behaviours that we're doing. How does that ripple effect really work? The mirror effect. How does that work? And then I go in to talk about all the things that we can manifest. Self-appreciation, self-love, self-respect and self-love. Because if we don't love ourselves, we'll never find love from another person. Because we're already emitting all those negative behaviours where somebody won't ever love us so guys this is a good one today it's not personal against anyone on the planet but there is a lot of hatred out there at this point there's a lot of anger because there's so many lies and deceit going on true colours are coming out I've been saying this for a year and if you do want to get out of that rut and really amplify that good positive energy towards yourself, which will then emit to others, please try this for yourselves. Think about what it is that you really do value about yourself. What builds your self-worth? What builds your confidence? And what are you passionate about in your life? concentrate on those things and then you say you have those things and you are those things and you be those things because that is how energy works have a good day guys hope you've enjoyed this one talk to you all again soon bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.